may help you. Herod hears and so Herod speaks, while alternating from preference to preference for one that sees life as a series of alterations, constantly at the tailor, under the influence of whichever convenience store he is occupying, he repeats this phrase a number of times. One of his axioms is that history bears repetition, and repetition the practice through which he harries the grand schemata about. Herod is a historian, and I met him at a colloquium entitled Bellicose Languages. In a rather vague way, he spoke about the Assyrians. He seemed convinced they had produced the concept of the strip mall, something here now about a glottal stop sign. The central argument to his doctoral thesis is driving onto an entrance ramp. He breaks off somewhere about page 30 and describes driving onto an entrance ramp. There are illustrations. Uh, hold on. The articulation of each phrase is an instance of for violence, violence being a kind of difference or forcible separation, and so with great care not to let any words run together, he pulls onto the entrance ramp. Light poles are always occurring and so are billboards, but I wouldn't call anything like that difference. Difference is both more subtle and more pronounced. Herod does not notice that he is turning onto a different street except for the changing of the street name, does not notice the different books on his shelves except for the varied titles, does not notice different light poles without individualized name tags. Something here now about how tongues are often confused for livers in grocery stores. Herod spends much of his time in his home reading Herodotus out loud, who he takes to be his namesake. In one afternoon, Herod memorized the following passage. For Cleomenes had consulted the oracle at Delphi and had been told that he would capture Argos. After that, he led the Spartiates to the river Erasinus, which is said to issue from the Stymphalian lake. They say the lake issues into a chasm out of sight and reappears in the Argos, and that from the Argos onward, the waters of it are called by the Argives Erasinus. When Cleomenes came to this river, he cut victims' throats into it, but could not obtain favorable omens for the crossing. Then the king said, I admire the river Erasinus for not playing false to his own countrymen, but all the same, the Argives will not come off scatheless. After that, he withdrew his army into Thyre, and having there in the sea cut the throat of a bull, he brought his men in ships to the territory of Tyrans and to Naplia. Herod attempts to read this in the original Greek, but only manages to stutter, a problem he's had with Greek from childhood. And uh, can I have a large Diet Coke, please? Just a large Diet Coke? Yep. Okay, it's going to be 219 at the window, please. All right, thank you. Nine is your total. Thank you. Was that you in there? Oh, yeah, it was me. Why? Oh, uh, no reason. Thank you.